So if you're like a lot of the other people within Escape from Tarkov right now and you're having a CPU bottleneck, there's actually another way for you to help reduce that, and reduce the amount of background processes that are on your computer, possibly improving your performance in game depending on how bottlenecked you are by these processes. Now I know the term debloating drivers is sort of a buzzword right now because of the driver overhead issue that Nvidia has, and if you haven't heard about that, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about that issue. The TLDR being that NVIDIA drivers tend to have higher CPU overheads than AMD does, resulting in them having worse CPU bound performance than otherwise. So if you're having that issue, there is an application that you can use, actually two, to help reduce that and if you'd like, completely remove GeForce experience from the equation, stopping it from collecting any sort of background information, telemetry, that sort of thing possibly improving your performance. Now I do want to note beforehand that if you are a completely, this sounds rude, average user, that's that's not meant to be rude, but if you don't tinker with computers a lot, this may be a bit overwhelming to get into at first. They make it actually pretty easy, but I'll explain the processes as we're going along so that you guys understand. Now the two apps that we're going to be using are Display Driver Uninstaller and NV Cleanstall. If you Google both of these, the first Thing that pops up is most likely the right thing to choose but i will have both of them linked in the description for you guys to go to and download what these will do is allow us to a uninstall old drivers and get rid of all the bloat from our system and then install the slimmer cleaner drivers with nv clean Cell. now there are two ways for us to go about doing this one way that i've seen is people tend to use display driver uninstaller to uninstall their drivers and follow the steps within it and then after everything is uninstalled, reboot their computer and then use NV Cleanstall to directly install the drivers. However, what I did and what is the secondary option is that I first made the package to install my drivers, which is this thing right here using the application. We'll get into that. And then once this was made, I uninstalled my drivers through DDU, rebooted my computer and then installed the drivers using the package instead. It's up to you which one you want to do, but in today's video, I'll be explaining it as if we're making the package first and then going to uninstall the drivers. So just keep that in mind. With that out of the way, once you have NV Cleanstall installed, we're going to be going for that first. You'll probably see this right here. I am using version 1.16.0. If you have a more updated version, things may vary, but overall, it should be roughly the same. So we're going to boot into that right here. Have our screen go black. Okay, there we go. And once we're in here, for most of you, it'll be fine to leave this option at install best driver for my hardware. What this does is it just looks at the most recent driver that's compatible with your GPU and then sets that as the installation. However, if you're an advanced user and you have a specific driver number in mind that gave you the most performance within a certain, certain application, whether that be Tarkov or otherwise, you can go down here and manually select a driver version through the absolute insanity that's all in here and choose the one that's best for you. But for most people, if not all of them, just installing your best driver for your hardware will be your best bet. NV Cleanstall even has an option if you're interested in having it update for you or, or check for updates rather. If you'd like for it to let you know if there's any updates available, you can definitely check periodically check for driver updates in background as that'll help you stay on top of your driver installation. If you're like me though and you're a bit more in the scene and you know when you would like to update your drivers and you stay on top of it more frequently without it needing to inform you, then you can leave this unchecked. Either way, when you've made that decision, then you can hit next. Now this is the biggest and most important section of the entire installation process as this allows you to select what parts of the driver you would like to have installed on your system. I highly recommend checking each one of these and reading each one of the options to see which ones you may need. I'll recommend a couple based on my experience, but keep in mind there may be dependencies that you will need for your system depending on what you have. I go with what the app says here and recommend that you have both physics and HD audio via HDMI by default, as there may be some older applications that you use that depend on stuff like this. And then if you put audio through HDMI, it may be important to have this available. And then if you have a laptop, I would highly recommend keeping Optimus installed just in case you're that type of user who brings it out and about, as what this does is it manages using the integrated graphics of your CPU and your actual NVIDIA brand discrete GPU, which can save a lot of power if you're moving around all the time. If you know for sure that you won't be doing that and you will be using your discrete GPU all the time on your laptop, then you can leave this uninstalled 
or of course, if you're on a desktop, then you can still leave this uninstalled. The only one out of all of these here that I actually checked was FrameView SDK, just because I figured I may attempt to use that at some point. I wouldn't recommend installing this unless you're interested in using it at some point as well. With the rest of this, like I said, it's extremely important to check and see which ones you will need. And if you do want GeForce experience, do keep in mind that some of these things have dependencies on other things that are checked in here. So for example, GeForce experience requires you to check some of these other options here in order to actually have it boot up in the first place. That is, of course, if you want a GeForce experience, which if you're at this video, I'm assuming a good portion of you probably don't. With that in mind, my recommended settings are the same as the application, these three right here. And then once you've checked all of these options and made sure that none of them are needed for your setup, you can have your selection and hit next. And then what it's going to do is going to, is that it's going to compile all of those options into an executable folder or file rather. And once that's done, you'll be brought to this screen, which allows you to tweak specific things about the installation process. The only one out of all these that I recommend is disable installer telemetry and advertising as that will disable the telemetry when you're actually in the installer, when you run the application to install it. That were, that, some of these other options down here with the expert tweaks may also seem tempting, but keep in mind this can break certain applications that rely on say signage from the actual driver, like authentication permits. So be very careful if you plan on checking any of these other applications or options rather, and make sure that they won't hurt anything that you're working on and any apps that you're planning to run before you check them. But once you have it set to your liking here, then you just wanna hit next, and then you'll be brought to this finish screen. Now, if you're doing the first path that I mentioned earlier, once you're at this screen, you can simply hit the install button and have the install run. As you've done DDU, you've restarted your computer, and now you're at the point where you can just install the drivers. But for most of us, if you're following through with my guide, you're gonna wanna hit build package. And what that's gonna do is gonna bring you to this screen right here, where you can actually put the install for the driver straight onto your downloads as if you're installing them straight from the nvidia website and once you have that it's going to start running through and installing the package this may take a minute but once it's done then you'll be able to go through the second part of this which is display driver uninstaller one thing i want to note before you actually run through with display driver uninstaller is that it's highly recommended that you boot your pc into safe mode if you haven't done that before no worries there are plenty of guides all over the internet for it but to give you my personal recommendation on how to do that, you can hold shift while pressing the restart button right here, and that will boot you into the troubleshooting screen where you can hit troubleshoot and go to the advanced options to then hit F4 and boot into safe mode. Another way to do it that makes it really simple and easy to check and uncheck is simply by pressing Windows key R, going to MS config, and then going to boot, and then checking safe boot right here this will boot you into safe boot the next time you restart the computer and that'll stop you from going through all those extra options that i talked about before as a little bit of a quick note i did stumble upon a windows forum on on microsoft's website that was saying that some people are having issues getting into ms config after they boot into safe mode so if that issue ever happened i didn't want to run the risk of recommending that to you and having that not be a proper option. So in the description, you'll find an article that I linked down below that has a bunch of different options for you to get in and out of safe mode for Windows 10 and 11, so that you don't get stuck on that. There's no hassle and you can choose the one that's easiest for you to do. I know this is sort of a botched way to do it, but I figured it'd be a lot better than me simply putting a camera towards my monitor and taking pictures of the different settings. So I hope this helps a little bit more. But regardless, no matter what way you decide to do it, once you are in safe boot and have restarted your windows and you're in that safe boot mode, you'll probably know because there'll be a black background on your screen, that's one of the telltale signs that you're in safe mode, is you want to launch display driver uninstaller. Now, of course, I'm going to get barked at because I am not in safe mode. You won't get this error when you boot it up. I'm just going to say OK. And then once you're in here, you're also going to get a pop up likely that has all of the options displayed for DDU. Since we're doing this for NVIDIA, I recommend checking every single one of these options here, including keeping the NVIDIA control panel global in program set settings, especially if you've done optimizations with the control panel before and you don't want to go through and reset all those. However, if you want a complete reinstall of everything and you haven't touched the NVIDIA control panel at all, and if you haven't, I do have a video regarding that that I'll link in a timestamp or whatever that info card is called, you can uncheck this if you want to not keep 
the NVIDIA control panel settings. But if you have it as you're liking, you can simply close these and get to this screen. Now this is a really, really simple thing to do when you're in safe mode. You just click GPU and then it'll probably auto select to NVIDIA, but if it doesn't, you can click it NVIDIA. And the easiest way to get it to wipe everything is just hit clean and restart. If you hit clean and do not restart, you should be able to then uh, disable safe mode if you did the MS config option and then restart your system after, but you may see a black screen until you restart. So just keep that in mind. I recommend clean and restart and then going back and disabling safe mode and then restarting again. It's your call, but if you'd like to go with either way, that's fine. Once you have this selected, you can simply hit clean and restart and go through the process. Once you've done that and your display drivers are uninstalled, then you can just run the package that was sent that we built earlier and saved to our downloads folder. Once you boot up this installer, one thing to make note of is that you don't need to actually check the perform a clean installation when you're going through all the options as we already did that with display driver uninstaller so it'll be clean regardless and then once that application finishes and it's installed you're done and you've got the clean drivers and if you've done it without geforce experience you'll notice that in the bottom right geforce experience is no longer accessible at all note some extra things before i end this video i did test these settings both in offline and online but one thing that I was having a lot of trouble with is getting the exact same testing scenario for testing these various different settings as I had to do full restarts of the game, which took a while and full restarts of my computer in order to go back and forth from the old drivers to the new one. And my data was getting messed up by the different time. Like for example, when I had the old drivers, the time slot was 1730. And then when I went to go test the new drivers, the time was already 830. And just based on my schedule for working on these videos, I just didn't have enough time to properly go through and thoroughly get the correct times for testing all of this. Not to mention one time it was raining and one time it was not. And all the different variables in offline mode just kind of ruined the data that I was collecting for it at the time. What I can tell you anecdotally is that this has actually improved how smooth my game has felt most of the time, though I haven't been able to accurately picture this for you. And I'll probably be discussing it on stream tonight uh, thank you to Nardo, by the way, for suggesting this to me. I was hesitant to recommend this at first to you guys, but at the end of the day, I figured that this may help you guys with your CPU bottlenecks a little bit more and give you at least a little bit more of an edge and may push you into playable territory depending on what your frame rates are. If you guys have any comments or questions about anything, feel free to leave them either down below or in our Discord. I'll be streaming tonight if you guys want to ask questions there as well, if you're watching this the day it comes out. And uh, with that, I hope you guys liked the video. This is actually something new that I've tried very recently. So I hope you guys liked this and uh, expect some more videos in the future very soon. And I'll see you guys in the stream tonight. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the videos. I really appreciate it. And for now, this is Clem, clocking out. Later.